Colorado Rockies hosting the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the Dodgers are minus 185 on the money line. The Rockies are plus 165. The over-under is 11.5 runs. The Dodgers laying a run and a half are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. And this is the casino's way of baiting you into thinking they're going to win by two. Colorado getting a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, Urias has pitched once against the Rockies this year. Two innings, six runs, three of which were earned, and they lost that game 9-4. to four. Marquez pitched once against the Dodgers this year. Seven innings, one run, one earned. They won that game 3-2. to two. Now, the Dodgers as a team are 6-8 and eight when Urias is on the mound. They're on a two-game losing streak, and they are 25-16 and 16 on the road this year. The Rockies are 8-6 and six as a team when Marquez is on the mound. Colorado's on a two-game winning streak, and they are 21-19 and 19 at home this year. Head-to-head, -head, the Rockies are on a four-game winning streak against the Dodgers. Colorado is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings against the Dodgers. The underdog getting a run and a half is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. The under is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the under 11.5 is also 7-3. and three. Now, you could have pushed yesterday if you didn't get that extra half a run, so it just depends on where you got the line. I'm going to go clean sweep here for the Rockies. Again, seemingly they have the Dodgers number until the Dodgers beat them. You're going to get a lot of value betting the Rockies. I bet them yesterday and won. Colorado with the money line. Colorado with the runs and the under. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong. As always, these are my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.